What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over bowls, which is this computational geometry question on code forces. I normally go over algorithms and data structures, but I'm trying to get it more into the competitive programming side of things. But my throat is actually hurting. I'm kind of sick right now, so please bear with me. So this is the problem. Given n bowls, each bowl is a basically a trapezoid. Bowls are stacked on top of each other. You're given the height, the first uh, width, the second width, the longer width of each bowl, and you want to find the distance from the bottom to the topmost bowl. Uh, I'll give you guys an example. So in the first input, here's when n is equal to 2. You're given two trapezoids. First height is 40. So this height is 40. Short side is 10. Long side is 50. And then the next trapezoid is stacked on top of it. Bear with me on the <laughs> my shapes are not really drawn in scale, but this is the next trapezoid and it's stacked on top of it. The next height is 60, bottom width is 20 here, and the top width is 30. Yeah. So they want you to find the distance from the bottom length to the topmost, so this distance. So how exactly are we supposed to solve this question? There's actually two things you need to know before you understand how to do this problem. One is similar triangles, and the other one is basically how trapezoids work. Okay, so I'm gonna start out and just explain to you guys to the two formulas you need to know. Uh, the first one is similar triangles. So let's say I'm given this tall height, let's say H2, and I'm given this small height, H1, and then I'm given R1. How do I find the large height of this? Because you know that the small triangle is similar to the large triangle, you know that the ratio between height and the radius are gonna be the same. So H1 over R1 is gonna be the same thing as H2 over the length that we're trying to find. Let's call it R2, okay? So this is the formula that you know about similar triangles, remember in grade school. Another formula you need to know is that, let's say I'm given a trapezoid. Let's say I'm given this trapezoid. If I were to cut the top part from the bottom part like this, right? Let's say these two are parallel. If I were to take the long side, let's say we call this R, R, L, and the bottom side R, R, R small, okay? So radius small, radius large. If I were to take the top and subtract from the bottom, that would give me these sides. If I were to take this top, this whole length, and subtract this bottom length, so get rid of this. That would give me the sum of these two sides. So if I were to divide by two, after given those two sides, I would get the length of each individual ones. So if RL minus RS would give me the sides of these two, that would give me two X, so each side is X. X would equal to RL minus RS over two. That's basically the two formulas you would have to know in order to solve this problem. What's the hardest part about the problem? So back in here, the hardest part is trying to find the height from the bottom to the top. And you'll be like, how am I supposed to find this height? So many numbers, and I really don't want to know how to figure it out. And it's just ridiculously hard. So I was rambling on way too much, and I had to stop the video and re-record because like, I didn't know what the heck I was saying. But okay, so pretty much we're trying to find this height, right? The, the height from the bottom most the length of the bottom most trapezoid to the top most trapezoid. So how exactly are we gonna do that? Well, if we were to find this small sliver of height, this small sliver, let's call it delta. So this is the change in height. If we were to find this small delta and you were to add to 60, which is the height of the top most trapezoid, you would get this height. You would get the height of the final answer. Pretty, that's basically how it works. If you, if you take this, if you'd figure out this small delta, and you add by the height of the second trapezoid, you would get the height of your end result. So the main issue is how do I find this delta H? If I could find the height of the bottommost trapezoid to the, the bottom of the trapezoid stacked on top of it, and then add it to the height of the trapezoid above, I would get the final height, okay? Once I find the delta H, as long as I could find the, the delta H plus the height above the trapezoid, if I find the maximum one for all n cases, that would be the end result. So the distance from the bottom to the topmost trapezoid, H max would equal to the maximum value of each individual height I for each iteration, H of I plus the delta for each single trapezoid. 
Okay, so how are we gonna solve this problem? Well, we gotta find this delta H, plug into this equation, you would basically get your answer. So how do you find this delta H? Okay, so I'm gonna explain two trivial cases of f finding the delta H, okay? So we have to derive a mathematical equation on how to find delta H. We have to replace these numbers with variables. Bear with me, because this is gonna be a very, very difficult, tedious process. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have to give variables, okay? I need to differentiate which is the top bowl I'm at and which is the current bowl I'm at, okay? Because there are n bowls, and I need to differentiate which is stacked on top of each other. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call J is gonna be the bottom bowl, okay? So I'm gonna redraw this. So this bowl, this bottom bowl, I'm gonna call this the jth bowl. J is gonna be the bottom bowl, okay? I'm going to refer to the top bowl as BI. This is gonna be the top bowl. So B, BI is gonna refer to as the top bowl. Bear with me guys, because this is gonna be an intense explanation, okay? BJ is the bottom bowl, BI is the top bowl, okay? I'm going to call each of these values, R small to B is gonna be the smaller radius. Big case R is gonna be the large radius, okay? So R is small is gonna be small radius. Big R is gonna be large radius, okay? So once, that's what I'm gonna differentiate it by, okay? So the R small of the bottom bowl is gonna be RJ, which is gonna be the smaller side. R large with the bottom bowl is gonna be RJ. And then I'll call the height for each bowl H. It's gonna be the height, height. So this height is gonna be HJ because it's the bottom bowl. Now for the top bowl, I'm gonna call the bottom, bottom side RI. And the large side of the top bowl, I'll call it big RI. And I'm going to call the height of top bowl H of I. So this thing is gonna be H of I. Okay, hope you guys understand what's going on here. I'm just giving names, variable names for each of the value inside the picture so I could derive a mathematical formula to solve this problem, okay? The delta height, I'm gonna call it delta ij. That's gonna mean the change in height, top bowl and the bottom bowl. And we're repeating this n times. There's n bowls, so we're gonna repeat this n times. Okay, so I already labeled some variable names. Now I actually have to give you the test case, trivial test cases because uh, there's some cases that you have to think about before you actually start doing this, all this code stuff. All right, so there's two basic cases. First case is what if the bowls are stacked on top of each other? In that case, the delta ij is actually just gonna be the height of the bottom bowl. So let's say, so they're stacked on top of each other. You can't do anything at this point. They're stacked on top of each other. So this delta ij is actually just gonna be the same height as h j and uh, let's relabel the values again so remember i is the top bowl j is the bottom bowl so r j and remember the height of this is h of i for the top bowl okay so in the case when there's the bowls are stacked on top of each other what does that mean in this case if you look at this picture that means that r i is going to be greater than or equal to r j so r i is greater than or equal to r j that's the only case when the bowl is on top so in this case r j r i the length of the bottom one of the top bowl is actually greater than or equal to the length of the bottom bowl the top of the bottom bowl right so R i is greater than or equal to R j in this case. So the, if if this is the case, if R i is greater than or equal to R j, your delta i j is gonna equal to H of j. So that's the first case, basic case. Bowls are on top of each other. Next case is the bowl is actually inside each other. So this is the next trivial case. If the bowls are inside each other, that means our delta, the change in height here, delta i j is actually zero bowls inside each other. Why? Because there's no difference in height from the bottom bowl to the bottom of the top bowl. See the delta, the change in height is zero, okay? They're inside each other, therefore it's zero. So in what case is that? Let's say I just redraw this again, so ri, okay? So in the case they're inside each other, delta ij is zero. 
And what case is that? That's the case when if big R i is small or equal to little r j, that means that this delta, the change in height, is equal to zero. And why is this the case? Because if r i is larger than r j, then it would actually get stuck between. But no, the 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 value of the large height of the top bowl is actually smaller than the value of the bottom of the bottom bowl, smaller side of the bottom bowl. Right, this side is smaller than this. That's why the bowl just gets dropped immediately into each other. And that's why the delta ij is equal to zero, okay? All right guys, so the first hard case that I have to go over is this. It's gonna be the uh, bottom of top bowl is stuck, gets stuck in between, uh, between bottom bowl, stuck between bottom bowl. And what does that mean? That basically means that, let's say I have a bowl like this, bottom of the top bowl, like this bowl, is stuck in between, okay? So this bottom of the top bowl, this bottom of the top bowl gets stuck in between parts of the bottom bowl. And if we were, if we're supposed to label these sides, H of I, H of J. So this would be the drawing of what it would look like. Remember, I is the top bowl, J is the bottom bowl, okay? So in order to do this, how are we gonna solve this problem? Well, if you were to actually uh, cut, use similar triangles and create a triangle out of this right side, you could actually solve this problem. So this, to do it, I'll just create a triangle like this from this right side and a triangle like that. So if you were to cut it like this, these sides are the same. Okay, and what what how do you how do you solve these sides? Like, how do you solve this side? It's going to be the top length minus the bottom length over two, and that's going to be the value of this side. This is R J minus R little R I over two. Okay, the this side and this side is the same, and if you were to cut a value from here this side and this small side, if I were to cut to this, zoom in on this part, this side would be RJ minus little ri over two. Okay? And you could, you could tell based on the trapezoid. So if you were to create a small part from here using triangles and cut this part, this side is actually the same thing as this side, okay? So the small side would equal to RJ minus little ri over two because of similar triangles when you cut a similar triangle like that. So now, since you know the values of these two sides, you could calculate the delta, and the delta here is the delta H, right? Delta IJ, and how do you do that? We're trying to find this delta, right? Delta IJ. To find it, we need to know the this side. Okay, so we're gonna use this side. It's gonna be big H minus delta IJ, this small sliver. So if I were to redraw this triangle, HJ, so what does that mean? That means this part is gonna be HJ minus delta IJ. Okay, because these parts, if you add them up, it'll be H or J. So we could use similar triangles on this part. So the ratio of this over this small side is gonna be the same as the ratio of this large H over this. Okay, so just like the same formula that we saw before, we're gonna use that in this case. So this is gonna be, we'll do large side, H, J over large side divided by rj minus ri over two. Okay, so now we have this formula and now we could solve for delta ij. And if we were to solve for delta ij, I'll show you guys how to do this. So we could get rid of the constant over two here, then we could cross multiply. So we could have rj multiplied by r. I'll just use delta for now, okay? So we're trying to solve for the delta. To do that, we'll divide rj on both sides. 
Okay, so then we have hj minus delta is going to equal to hj times rj minus ri. Uh, we'll move the delta to the right and then subtract by hj. So hj minus over rj minus rj. And that's going to equal to delta. So now we have this. Uh, we're going to just simplify using algebra. Rj minus rj minus rj hj times hj minus ri. And then after this, we're going to do hj. So the final answer would be this. So the final answer would be hj times R, ri minus rj over rj minus rj. And that would be your answer. And what case is this? We go back to the, the, the question. So in what case would this, the, this equation make sense where the bottom of the top bowl gets stuck in between the, bot, the two sides of the bottom bowl? So that means that Ri gets stuck in between Rj and little rj. That would only make sense if Ri is greater than Rj, right? So, because like otherwise, if, if, if it wasn't the case, it would just sink through and then hit the ground. So the only way that's possible if the, the smaller side Ri is greater than Rj. That's the only case. So this is when Ri is greater than Rj. Otherwise, it would it would hit it would literally sink to the ground. So yeah, if this is the case, then we'll look at our equation again. We would have to do R J. If this is the case, then delta is going to equal to H J times R I minus R J over R J minus R J. Yeah. So that that would be the case. All right, let's go, go over the other two cases and how to derive the formula for that. The next case that we have to think about is if the top trapezoid is actually stuck inside the bottom. And to do that, I'll draw you a trapezoid. And the top trapezoid is actually stuck in between the bottom. So this is the top trapezoid, this trapezoid. It's stuck in between the bottom, okay? So when the top trapezoid is stuck in the bottom, remember I is the top trapezoid. I is the top trapezoid, top trapezoid. Top bowl, J is the bottom bowl, and that's this case. So if we want to find uh, the delta, the delta is this part, delta, and that occurs is the uh, the distance from the bottom to the bottom of the bowl, right? Bottom bowl to the bottom bowl, and that's this delta. Um, I'm gonna label the other values now. So this is, so this part is gonna be. H of I, and the big part is going to be H of J. Now, uh, to solve for delta, I'm going to draw triangles from here. So to do that, I'll draw a triangle like this, just to make sure you guys understand. Okay. And I'll draw a triangle from here. So I hope you guys could look at it. And uh, once I draw the triangles, I'm actually going to draw the congruent triangle from the inside. So you guys understand. That's all I've done. That's all I've done. Um, so we know the inside triangle is actually similar to the outside triangle. And so we could derive an equation for the ratio of the height of the inside over the bottom and is the same ratio as the height of the outside over the bottom. And how we're going to do that, um, if you noticed this height, not the, the height, this side is actually going to be rj minus little rj over 2 because it's the same value as this. And if you were to cut the same side on both sides like that, it's not to scale, but these values would be the same, right? So it would be rj minus little rj over 2. Remember the second equation I showed in the beginning of the video? This is bottom side is rj minus little rj over 2. So that's this side. And what about the small triangle, the width of the small triangle? That would be ri minus rj over 2. So, and this, this value is going to be ri minus rj over 2. The small value, yeah. And why is it? Because ri minus rj will give you the sides of these two sides. Ri minus Rj will give you the sum of these two sides. And if you divide by two, you would get the individual side of this. And that's the same thing as this. So that's why this side 
is ri minus ri minus rj over two. Okay, that's the length of this side. This height is just h of i plus delta. So I'll have the label here, h i plus delta. And the total height is just h of j. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna do the ratio of the height over each individual side. So h of i plus delta divided by ri minus rj over two. It's gonna be the same thing as h of j over rj minus r little rj over two. So I'll write that now, j minus our little rj over two. And then we're gonna cross out the constant over two. We'll cross multiply. If you were to solve this equation for delta, you're gonna get ri minus rj over rj minus rj multiplied by hj minus h of i. And that would be the equation of this. So how did we get the top bowl to get stuck inside the bottom bowl? That only can occur if this, this side is less than or equal to the, this side. So that, that only occurs when r i is less than or equal to r big r j, right? Because like if, if it was greater, then it, would, it wouldn't go inside the bowl, right? This length has to be less than this length for the bowl to get stuck inside, right? If it were greater, then this bowl would actually be stacked on top, but it's not, so yeah. So if this is the case, we'll plug in this equation. Okay, so that got us the second case. And I'm gonna go over the third case, which is the third and final case. And yeah, once we go over the third case, you just, I'll code it up for you guys. All right guys, so this is the third and final case. And it's when the sides of the top bowl get stuck in between the tips of the bottom bowl. So I already drew this for you guys because I didn't wanna waste time on it. But this is the bottom, this is the top bowl, R of I, as you can see here and it's stuck in between the tips of the bottom bowl. Like this is the bottom bowl, RJ. And the top bowl is stuck in between the tips, the sides, the top tips. So that's 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 the third case. Um, so this is our top bowl. That's why the height is in this case because it's stuck in the, it's HI, it's stuck between the tips. Um, this is the delta, it's the, the change in height between the bottom side of the bottom bowl and the top bowl. This is H of uh, H of J, which is the height of the bottom bowl. This is the bottom bowl. Okay, so how would you solve this problem? We could build a similar triangle, a small similar triangle like this. Um, so the ratio of this large side over this bottom side is gonna be the same thing as the ratio of this side over this side, okay? H of J subtract by the delta is gonna give us this side. It's gonna give us this small side because H of J minus delta is gonna give us this small side. Um, H of I minus this is gonna give us this small side. So it's gonna be H of I minus hj minus delta, okay? That's gonna be this small. Um, this side is gonna be ri minus ri over two, so that's this side. ri minus little ri over two. Um, yeah, and uh, this, this side is gonna be ri minus rj over two this side. So ri minus rj over 2. And that's this side. Okay. Uh, based on the equation I showed you in the beginning, uh, now we could just do the ratio of this height over this is equal to this height over this. So to do that, this height is ri minus rj minus hj minus delta. That's this height. Divided by this side is gonna be ri minus rj over two. And uh, this side, the total height is hi. So we're gonna do equal to the total height, this side over the small this side. That's ri minus little ri over two. Uh, we're gonna cancel out the two. 
Um, okay guys, so after you solve the equation for this bottom part, you get this equation. And then if you were to simplify even more, you get hj minus rj minus ri over ri minus little ri times h of i. And that's what this delta equals. Okay, so and once we finish this, um, finish this, this part, after doing all this, we know that uh, the delta is equal to this equation. So in what case does this occur? This occurs if ri is bigger than rj, okay? Because if the length of this top part it has to be bigger than this side, this top part. So that's ri greater than rj. That's when the bowl of the top tip gets stuck in between the bottom bowl. bowl. Ri is greater than rj, and that's what causes this. So yeah, that's how you do the third case. Uh, now we're gonna code up the solution, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right guys, so I'm gonna code up the solution with you guys now, and basically we'll just do this really quickly. It's actually not that long of a code. Uh, so first we need an array, actually three arrays, representing the, the height, the uh, small radius, and the big radius. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, because we know the bounds, let's see the bounds, uh, the bound is 3000. So I'm going to put just in case I'll put three, 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 three. Okay. So the top bounds is three, 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 three. So I'm going to put that just to reserve space for three, 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 three. Then I need to create a Delta to represent the, each Delta we're calculating for the change in i and j. So I'll do deltas is gonna be three, 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 three also. Okay. Um, okay, so now we got that. Oh yeah, guys, uh, th th this line of code is just to increase speed for input and output. So we don't really need to care about that. Um, th this line of code is to change, to redirect the input to a text file. The reason is because uh, to submit on code forces, this problem required us to to basically read in a text file. So I don't know why, but we had to do that, okay. Um, once we do that, uh, let's look at the input. The input is cn first value n, and then, yeah, input the three values. So I'm gonna do that now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a value n, variable n, we're gonna cn n, and then we're gonna loop from uh, x equals zero, x is less than n, x plus plus, and we're going to see in uh, the height, read in the height, the, is it small radius or big radius? Let me check. Um, small radius, yeah, small radius, then big radius. Okay, so once we got that, now we need to create a function that calculates the delta for each value and then we could get the maximum delta and then we add it with the, the value above it. So um, I'm gonna do that now. So I gotta create a function. I'm gonna call this calculate delta and I'm just gonna pass in i and then j. ij is gonna represent the top and then j, i represents the top, j represents the bottom of the bowl for whatever index it is. Um, so what are we gonna do? We're going to do the same equations that we written already. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the editorial because, actually not the editorial, uh, I already I already pulled it up, sort of, so I'm gonna write that now. Um, so, we're gonna create a, a value called current delta. I'm gonna set it to zero. Uh, this is gonna represent the we need to get the maximum current delta, the maximum delta. So that's why we're going to use current delta to get the max. Actually, I'll call it. I'll call this max current delta, max delta. Okay. Um, so if our uh, if R I is greater than or equal to big R of J from the first equation that we derived. This means it's stacked on top of each other. 
Yeah. So that means that uh, we're going to return the height. So we're just return h of h of j, the height of the, the height of the bottom, the height of the bottom one. Okay. Um, now if the now we got to do the three equations, which is going to be. Uh, I'm going to copy the three equations here. So if RJ, RI is greater than or equal to RJ, then the we also have if uh, RI is less than or equal to RJ. And then we have RI is greater than or equal to RJ. Okay, so now we're going to just calculate the, return those three values, the equations that we made derived from the beginning, and I'm going to return max delta in the end. Okay, so now there's that. Uh, now I'm going to calculate each individual height. So to get each height, I'm going to do uh, current height is going to equal to rj minus ri times hi over hri minus little ri so i'm going to do that so let's just calculate it's going to be rj minus top ri multiply by h of i divided by uh, R RI minus little RI yeah um, and then to make this better because we made them integers I'm gonna make cast this into a double so to do that uh, I'll just cast the top part to a double so I'm going to do this double. So yeah, now that's cast to a double. And yeah, I'm going to see the double. Then once we get the current height for, I'm going to put all the other equations that we derived. Uh, yeah. Ri minus little ri times rj. Okay, so now we have the three equations that we derived. I just copied and pasted them here. Now what we're, we're gonna do is, once we got the current height, we have to add to the delta. And to do that, we'll just do uh, not the delta, we got to do, uh, got to get the maximum delta for each height. Okay. So some of these required, some of these required us to subtract the height of the top and the bottom. So yeah, we have to do that, but I'll do max delta is equal to max of, uh, max delta and then the height subtract by Kerr height. So this was a this was the whole equation that we derived already, mathematically derived. So I'm just gonna take a maximum for each of them. Okay. Uh, max delta minus. Current height minus, and then this one was just max height. Yeah. Okay, so now once we copied the equations down for calculating the delta, 
Uh, we had to use max for all these because they could, it could be more than one. So that's why. Uh, once we got that, now we just have to call it, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll, I'll do that first soon. Hold up. Okay, so now since we calculated the each, uh, we had a function that helps calculate our delta. Now I'm going to create a uh, variable called largest height. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through from i equal 1, i is n, i plus plus. This is going to go through from the first bowl to the end. Then I'm going to start from j is equal to uh, 0, j is less than i, j plus plus. This is going to go from the bottom bowl. This is going to represent the bottom bowl from 0 to i, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create, a, um, I'm going to create a, a variable called position and it's going to get the maximum, it's going to calculate each maximum delta and then I'm going to set the delta at I, uh, each position at the delta at I to be that position. So I'm going to do double position is equal to equal to zero. Then I'm going to do position is going to equal to max delta at j plus the calculated delta at ij. What this is going to do is, oh, what is what's, what's the problem? Double. Oh, yeah. What this is going to do is, uh, because our deltas are starting at zero, right? Because um, we didn't initialize our our each delta yet. Deltas, because it's an array, it's going to start at zero. All the values are zero, and we didn't initialize each, each value yet. So what I'm going to do, this loop is you're just going to calculate uh, each each delta value, and it's going to plus the calculated the perspective value above it each value above and below it and then it will find the maximum one then after that I'll just set the deltas at i is equal to position what this is going to do is this is going to give me the maximum possible deltas that I could get for each position from for each bowl right so for bowl one I want to calculate the maximum deltas from zero to one so and then uh, if bowl two, I want to calculate the maximum deltas from zero, one, two for for each top and all the values on the below it. For three, I want to calculate zero, one, two, three. So what this is doing is it's going to calculate each delta from the starting bowl that I'm at and all the bowls before it. Okay. And once I get that, I'm gonna get the maximum value of those deltas from all those bulls and I'm going to set it into my array of deltas which is the delta of uh, that, I, that I initialized okay so now once we got all the maximum deltas for each bull I'm going to start loop again and this time I'm going to start from i equals zero i is less than n i plus plus what am I going to do I'm going to get uh, whoops my bad uh, what am I going to do I'm going to uh, find the largest height so to do that, I'm going to do largest height is going to equal to max uh, largest height. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do deltas at i. I'm going to add by um, the height before it. So the height before it is going to be h of i. All right, so the height above it. So for each delta at i, I'm going to add by its respective height. Okay. So I don't know if I told you guys this already, but each uh, each of these values represents the index of represents the index of the each bowl. So height at one, rep, uh, r at one, big r at one represents the height small radius big radius at bowl one. Uh, height two represents height small big radius at bowl two, three yada yada yada. So that's why I'm gonna get respective deltas that the maximum deltas that I got, and I'm gonna add it to its respective height. Okay, so now once I get the maximum height, all I have to do is just print it out to eight decimal places. So I'll just do that because it requires us to do that. So I'll do print f percent 0.8 f 
uh, it's eight decimal places, and I'm gonna do largest height. And that's basically it. That's that's how you do this question. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I taught you guys how to do this problem. And I'm gonna save it and submit it and see just to show you guys how to do it. So let's do uh, bowls. See, I already did it once, so I'm gonna do this. Submit code, bowls. Wait, it's gonna take a while. Well, it doesn't take that long. It would probably take a maximum of like five minutes. Not five minutes, two minutes, yeah. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's how you do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.